Hey there, it's Stephanie from Janku, and today I'm going to cover plugins in PenPot. Plugins are a new feature that PenPot has added so that the users can have more say in what kind of different features they want to add to the project. So uh, this is a really kind of cool thing that PenPot's doing, and um, I just wanted to show you a little bit around how to how to access them and what kind of plugins are already available and a contest coming up starting November 15th for anybody who wants to create a plugin. So let's uh, start off here with a new project. And I'm going to call it plugins. Okay, so we have our project here. Now, uh, there's several ways to access plugins. There's this menu here. We have this little puzzle piece. That is how one way to access the plugins. But then right here in this menu, plugins is there as well. So I'll just select this one since we have it. And there's a couple ways to install plugins. So if you already know the plugin URL, um, it should be, I believe, a .json um, file. You can just paste that right in here and click install. Or if you want to browse a library of current plugins, you can just go right here to plugins list. So that'll open another web page. And as you can see, we have a few plugins here. So let's see, let's start off with Let's try this one, the QR code. It's designed to generate QR codes directly within PenPot. So if I click install, all right, so it's usually with plugins, there's some type of access that's required. Note that if the plugin does um, require an update, after installation, it will notify you of that. Uh, that's according to the uh, PenPot notes. So this one says, please note this is a plugin that's being created by an external party to ensure your trust before granting access. Your data privacy and security are important to us. Okay, so this is going to read and modify the content of files that users have access to. I'm going to allow that. Want to take a look? It will open in a new draft of your current team. All right, let's try it. Okay, so looks like you can put in a, a web link here and generate the code. That's pretty cool. All right, let's try putting in our website. All right, let me get rid of this one, or move it. I'm actually gonna try to open this up with my phone just to see if this works. Well, would you look at that, that does work. So if you guys hover your cell phone over this QR code, you will get the janku.com website. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, so the plugin's installed. I can use it on any of my projects, and if I want to ch take a look at more, I can always go back to the Plugins Manager. I can go to Discover More Plugins, and, oh, Lorem Ipsum, that's useful. Let's install that one. All right, so this one, read and modify the content of files that users have access to. So we're going to allow that. And I'm going to say try plugin. All right, this is cool. So I get to select sentences, words, characters, and then hit generate. So let's see. Can't really see much of the screen right here. Oh, okay. So here it is. Now. So I accidentally closed out of the Lorem Ipsum uh, little window to, to access the plugin. So uh, that's okay though. If I go back here to plugins and I select Lorem Ipsum, it'll open that window right back up. 
and select a text field to replace it with a placeholder text. Okay, let's try that. Let's zoom out. All right, here we go. So I selected paragraph and it, it created a paragraph. I just need to adjust that width of that uh, text window so that it will, there we go. That's better. I don't think we're going to have a paragraph spanning the whole page here. So but this is great. This is great for doing mock-ups and seeing how words fit the screen. So that's great. Um, there's already a couple really cool, useful plugins here. So I really like what Penpots is doing. If you look at their plugins page further, the same one that I looked at to install the different plugins, there's a create a plugin button. And so this is cool because this is their help center and it, and it essentially goes through the process of creating the plugin. Uh, you just follow some of these steps. They note that you will be hosting your own plugin. They give instructions to host it on Netlify, I believe was uh, what they listed. But uh, yeah, this is a really cool way to be a part of the community, create something for your project and make it available to others that might need to use it as well. It's a great thing about open source. Yeah, so that is about it. If you want to learn more about the contest coming up on November 15th, it ends December 15th and Penpot's giving away some pretty cool prizes. The first place prize will win $1,000, the honorable mentions. There's 20 prizes being given out, $200 each, and then there's an outstanding prize for a plugin that's truly impressive. I'm not sure what an outstanding prize is, but that would be pretty cool to figure out what that is. I'll leave some references in the description where to see these contest rules and how to create plugins and where to access a plugin if you just want to use and play around with them in your project. But uh, thank you for tuning in.